in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite red zone plays from the Bunch Tight End Offensive Ebook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. And I believe that that is the first step that will actually help you become a better player. And the reason why is because by subscribing, it allows you to know whenever we release a new video. And that way you're just going to be basically be able to stay up to date with all of that stuff. So um, that being said, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the video as we dive into this, just text me. My number is in the top left hand corner. It is my personal cell phone number. I get a lot of questions about that but it is my personal cell phone number, so I will be the one that does respond to you. Uh, not a computer, not a program, not a robot, um, not anybody else either. It will all, Every message will come directly from me if you decide to text me. Um, one thing that I wanna let you know about is that the play that we're gonna be breaking down is an excerpt from my Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook. And so if you wanna get that full offensive eBook, that link is in the description of this video. It's just 15 bucks for the entire offense. In my personal opinion, this is the best offense right now in Madden 21. So if you wanna get that full offensive scheme, um, it's available for you in the description of this video. Okay guys, so let's talk about the red zone and really specifically, uh, we're gonna be talking about the goal line style, like like inside the 10, you know what I mean? What do you do inside the 10? How do you score consistently uh, inside the 10 yard line in this game? And it's actually very difficult in my opinion, especially if you're a passer like I am. Uh, I love to pass the ball. Um, but the play that we're gonna be talking about is the play inside switch. Now this play is uh, my favorite red zone play in the game. And the reason why is because the routes really, really do go hand in hand and they work well together. Now, um, there's a couple of things you need to know as far as adjustments. Um, and it, it really is based on tendency of your opponent. If your opponent is running more man coverage, there's a man coverage version and a zone coverage version that I'm going to recommend that you run. Um, so first and foremost, I want to talk about man coverage, okay? So man coverage in the red zone, uh, and I'm just going to throw my user here into a hook curl, okay? Um, so all I'm going to do as far as a man coverage beater is I'm going to smart route the post route. I'm going to put Devonte Adams on a slant. I'm then going to take the tight end and I'm going to put him onto a smart route. You see that it's going to make his corner route really, really sharp. And if they're running man coverage on me, I'm almost always going to try to hit this little quick throw right here to the running back. If they're not using that, if they're not over in that area and they're not trying to use or that, I will throw that a lot at least to just see uh, how they're going to defend me in man coverage because what I know about Madden um, specifically about these man coverage assignments within this play is if they run man coverage they're going to get it we're almost always going to get a mismatch um, as far as who's guarding this running back and if you time it right you can actually just quickly get the ball out throw it and you've got an instant touchdown really against almost any man coverage in the game okay so that's that's kind of step one. Um, the next thing is I'm gonna progress. It's a natural progression, and I'm gonna progress to the tight end. Now the tight end does not always win. Um, that is something that you have to understand. Unless you're playing Mutt and you have a really good tight end, uh, he's not always gonna win. If you're playing Regs, he's definitely not. But you see here that I can throw this route relatively quickly because of the switching of players that's going to occur. Um, what's gonna happen is whenever I motion, you're gonna notice that the player that's guarding, and let me just show you here on this end, and we'll just motion him back. But what you'll notice is when I use motion out of bunch tight end, you're gonna see here, I'm gonna show you the man coverage. Watch the coverage assignments. Whoops. And of course I bumped the controller here. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll come back out and fix that. But watch, watch what happens with the man coverage assignments if I motion. Okay, it's, it's a big if, but I just want you to watch. So inside switch again, that's our setup right there, okay? Now, I'm gonna motion across, and I just want you to watch the man coverage, okay? Just watch what happens. When I motion across, you're gonna see it's gonna switch. See that right there, see that switch? That's gonna put a guy that's all the way on the left side of the field onto a guy that's on the right side of the field. 
advantage to the offense, okay? Advantage to the offense. So if I see that movement right there, I'm snapping quick and I'm throwing that thing hot. And as you can see right there. Now, obviously, obviously, if they have, um, if they have their corner on the left, if they have their corner on the left, let's say they put him in a, a zone, a soft squat, okay? If they have him in a zone, obviously you're not going to throw that, but you're just peeking. Is there any defender in that grass area? Yes, there is. Okay, check down, and now I've got the slam. Okay, if they make that adjustment, that if this, then that. One to two to three. Running back to tight end, the slant route. That's what I'm, that's what I'm recommending to you. Now, um, let's talk about the other, uh, let's talk about the post route. Uh, the post route is kind of the last read on this. So, uh, obviously you have a flat route there if the flat route's open, but one to two to three, okay, not open, not open, not open, bam. Their user's typically gonna have to choose between the post and the slant. Almost always he will try to bait you, but here's the thing, whichever route the user is on first, if the user moves even the slightest movement, you can throw it. Even the slightest movement, you can throw it. Okay, so, oh, slightest movement, bam. And the beauty is that slant route will get in a very tender position against zone and against man coverage. The biggest thing that you have to understand as far as your quarterback, you want to basically almost time your steps. So step up. Step up, step up, step up, throw. you got to step up in the pocket in the goal line, otherwise you're going to lose yardage. Now let's talk about zone coverage, um, in particularly zone drops. So this is zone coverage with zone drops, okay? And this is what I'm going to do. Now you can still run the same setup, and it will still work relatively well. You'll see this is against zone drops, and this quick route to the running back, just throw it quick, you see there's about four people on it, okay? But... One of the things you can do is let's say that you see zone, okay? Let's say that you see zone. What you can do with your running back is you can instantly truck as soon as you pass him the ball, especially if you have Dylan in there, but basically just truck him and he will sometimes go forward. Um, and he will some, he will uh, occasionally just like basically glitch out the zone coverage as far as the pursuit. So it's another little way that you can kind of sneak in some, uh, a quick read here. So, uh, whoops, I'm gonna have to, audible back but if you see zone just pass lead the running back route up and he will basically you, you should be able to to kind of navigate that a little bit most people won't won't run zone um but like right there and then i can't get it quite i, I don't know why i can't get it right now um but but most people most people won't run a ton of zone on the running back because pretty much everybody knows that they got to be concerned about a seam wheel or something like that to the running back but if they happen to run zone just right there and you can kind of truck it it might just be because jones doesn't have the ability i don't know uh you might want to sub dylan in you know for the goal line uh setting but anyway uh let's say that okay so let's say that you know it's zone if you know it's zone what I like to do is I like to still keep the slant, still keep the post, okay? The difference is I like to take the tight end, and I, the only difference is I like to take the running back and put him on a streak, okay? Uh, and the reason why is what you'll see is the tight end's gonna pull all the zones out of the way, and this, this running back streak will be wide open. As you can see right there, literally wide open, and they are gonna have to choose between the running back and the tight end. Uh, they're they're going to have to choose. Cover four won't stop it. Cover three won't stop it. Cover two won't stop it. The streak to the running back is one of the most underrated routes in the game for zone coverage. Look at how he just kind of sits in that pocket and is wide open for you to be able to hit him. Okay? So that's another thing that you can do from this. One last setup that I didn't talk about yet is, um, is, is actually really good too. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on an option route. And what you'll notice is when you put the running back on an option route, let's say they run man coverage. Running back will always get separation on an option route. As you see right there, he's going to get op wide open for a touchdown. So you can do that. You still have your slant. You still have your your, your crossing, or um, not your crossing route, your uh, your corner route. Now let's say that they run uh, some type of Mabel coverage. 
uh, to that linebacker on that side. So the running Mabel coverage, now look where the running back's gonna sit, which of course I didn't put him on the option route. But you see how the tight end gets to the back corner of the end zone, which is also really, really nicely um, for things like Tampa 2. Uh, Tampa 2 doesn't, one of the things that you'll notice about the red zone relatively soon, if you haven't already noticed it, is the zone that will go, like, like if they run Tampa 2 on the goal line, Tampa 2 is not a good goal line defense at all. Um, the back corner of the end zone will almost always be open. But look at this right here. Running back's wide open. and just sits right there. Automatic dot inside the five. It's a very, very effective route that you can use. And, and, and if you get any further, uh, what I would recommend is probably smart routing the running back. What you'll notice is, let's say they run Tampa 2. These, This is Tampa 2 with zone drops uh, set at about 15 yards. But if you look at the corner route here, you can pass that up into the outside. And as you see, he'll be on the back corner of the end zone. So this play has about three different setups that I like in the red zone that is very, very effective. So if you want to uh, learn more about the bunch tight end, that link to the full ebook is available for you in the description of this video. And if you have any questions or if you would like to get a free sample of the bunch tight end offense, that is available uh, via text message. All you have to do to get that is just text me. My cell phone number is 812 216-3644. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. And if you want to get that ebook, it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description for you.